You know that I got love, I got love, I got love in my heart. You know that I got love, I got love, I got love in my heart. All right, hey everyone. Welcome to the tutorial for this shoulder bag, baguette bag, this trendy one. It's really cute and I've really been wanting one so I made one and I made a tutorial. So if you're making this, some of the materials you will need are a ruler, a pair of scissors, your crocheting hook. Mine is 5.5 millimeters. Um, some stitch markers. You, you can use like normal stitch markers, but I just use bobby pins. This is something to like hold your place, right? And yarn. So this yarn is, um, put that down. This is the brand. I found it in my closet. It's Red Heart Super Savers. It's 100% acrylic. It's this hot pink color. It's about like a medium weight or like a size four yarn and in total I used about like 50 grams or less so um just a quick little tip if you're not using like the same thickness of yarn or if you're using like a bigger a thicker yarn or a thinner yarn or a different size crocheting um hook like the amount of rows that I do will probably not be as applicable for you it's not gonna be the same size so instead of that I would say like follow the measurements I say for each of the dimensions of the bag and make yours that long so like for example if you're using thinner yarn and at the bottom base I say 34 um for the chain the foundation chain if you're using thinner yarn you're gonna need to make more loops so make it until it's the length that I say and then make it until it's the height that I say, and then so on and so forth. All of the the written pattern will be in the description and the timestamps. So if you need any help or have any questions at all while you're making this, just let me know, drop me a comment, and I'll do my best to answer them. So enjoy the tutorial. All right, guys, so to start off, I'm gonna grab our yarn and we're gonna start off our foundation chain, right? So this is gonna be the base of the bag, right? Down here. And in total, it should be about nine and a half inches, which is going to be 34 for the chain. So how I do this is I grab my yarn like this. I insert my hook. I do a full 360. And I grab the anchor chain and I just pull it through. All right? Tighten that off. As so, pull it so it gets closed. And like that. So now for the chain, we're gonna do 36. I mean 34, sorry. So we're gonna go under like this and pull through. So that's one, two. Three, four, I like to hold this as I go along so it doesn't get too difficult, like holding down here. I hold it up close to the last one. This is five, six, seven, eight. So we're just gonna keep going until we reach 34. Then I'll show you what to do. All right, and now once you have 34 chains for the foundation, we're gonna do one more. So a total of 35. And we're gonna start doing this thing called a single crochet. This whole bag is just a bunch of single crochets. So since we just did that loop, this one, we're gonna go into that second one right there gonna push our hook through grab the yarn on the other side come back so you have two little loops I'm gonna yarn over and this last one you're gonna pull through these two 
as so. Then we're going to go into the second one. Grab the yarn like this. Yarn over and pull through. And we're just going to keep doing this. Like that. So this is what it will be looking like and we're going to keep doing single crochets until we reach the very end and I'll show you how to continue. Alright, so this is what it will be looking like. I'm coming to an end for row one and I'm just going to continue my single crochet right here. And then this, this is my last opening, push through, back. And now for row two, I'm just gonna flip the work over like that, all right? And we're gonna start going into these openings for row two. So we're gonna go in onto the side of the work, it'll be right here, right? The openings, like that go right there, right there, right there, those openings. and. When you go through, make sure that you have both of these strings on top. When you look at the top, there will be like this V looking section. You need to go through both of them. So, show you what I mean. I'm going to push through here. Grab the yarn on the other side. Yarn over and pull through. Right here is the second opening. Pushing through. And when I push through, I have these two pieces on my hook. I'm going to yarn over like so and pull through. So we're just going to keep doing this until we reach the end of row two. I'll meet you at the scent. Alright, so I'm coming close to finishing row two. So I'm gonna go into this opening, do my single crochet, and here is where we're gonna start to do this thing called an increase. There is one more opening right here. It's just like when you flip your work onto the top, you'll see that the V is like kind of curved over right so for this like these end pieces can be a little tricky so what I like to do is I like to like feel it out with my hook pull it a little bit right so that they pop out I, not all the time but like if, if it's kind of hard like do it like that so that you're able to push through both of them like that Grab your yarn on the other side, yarn over, and then that's your first single crochet, right? And to increase, we're gonna go into that same opening that we just went into, the exact same hole, and we're gonna do another single crochet. So in total, we have two right there in that last opening. It starts to flare out a little bit, and yeah. And now we're just gonna start row three by flipping our work over. And now we're gonna insert ourselves into the first opening, which is right here, right there. Push through, yarn over, like that. And keep going with our single crochets. And then that, then you'll just keep doing your single crochets and I'll meet you at the end for row three, at the end of row three, to then go on to row four. 
So now we're ending off row three. So going into this whole single crochet and now into our last space, we're also going to do two single crochets. So we're gonna make an increase. So here's the first one. And then we're gonna go back into that hole, pull it through, and this is the second one. All right? Now we're going to flip our work over and start on row four. So for this row, no increases, we're just gonna go straight into the first opening, which is right here. Grab the yarn, pull it through. And do our first single crochet. Then we're gonna keep doing this until we finish the whole of row four. Okay, so now we're ending off row four. So single crochet and then again into the last opening, we're gonna do two single crochets. So that's technically called an increase, right? So first one, and then back in, mm, it can be a little tight, then pull it out, second one. So like, your work might be like, going like this, but that's completely fine, it's normal, mine's doing that too, because at the end we're gonna stretch it a little bit and flatten everything out. So, end of row four, on to row five, we're flipping our work over and we're continuing the single crochet. So first opening right there. And going over and pull through. Boop. Over, pull through. And we're gonna keep doing this all the way to the end. So I'll meet you at the end and prepare for row six. Okay, hello, hello, I'm back. This is the end of row five. And this is the last row with an increase. So here's that opening, right? That little tricky one that's at the end. Uh, push through, come back around. First single crochet. And then do the second one so yes that's our last increase and then for row six flip our work and continue the half double crochets all the way to the end so we're entering this spot for row six pulling through yeah keep going Sorry if you hear all that noise. Oof, my apologies. See, I keep doing this for row six and I'll just meet you at the end for row seven. All right, guys, end of row six, here we go. Whoa, whoa. Okay. End of row six, see you crochet and we're still gonna go into that last opening we're gonna do one single crochet. I don't think I did that right, okay. Last opening, pull it through, one single crochet, and then we're gonna flip our work over and keep going for row seven. All right guys, finishing off row seven. So this row, and now for like a couple of rows, we're gonna start to decrease, right? So traditionally what we were doing is you're going through this hole, and this was the last one, you know, like that difficult one on the end. But now we're just gonna go through this hole and we're not gonna go through this one, right? So we're going to plop in, do a single crochet, and that's it, right? Disregard that last spot. We're gonna flip our work over, 
I'm gonna go into the first opening and do a normal single crochet and keep doing this for row eight. And at the other end of row eight, we're also gonna decrease. So right now, just for reference, before starting the, um, the decreases, my, right now this measures like almost two inches, right? And then we're gonna keep doing these decreases, right? Oh my gosh, my ruler. We're gonna keep doing these decreases for about, about two and a half inches. We're gonna do ink decreases. Keep doing this, row eight, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we're finishing row eight. It's coming to an end. So here, we're also gonna decrease, right? So again, to decrease, you just go into this hole, do your single crochet, and then skip this last difficult one. And we're gonna flip our work over. We're gonna go into this first opening, like that. And start off for row nine. Right, oh my gosh. Row nine, so all the way for row nine. Can you doing this? And then we're gonna go into this opening and skip that last one. Row 10, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna skip that last one and we're gonna keep decreasing until row 13. So I'll see you at the end of row 13. Keep up with the decreases. But yeah, all right, so keep going. All right, hey everyone, I'm back. So I kind of messed up with the instructions in the last <laughs> in the last clip. I said decrease until row 13, but like that was a mistake. Keep going until row 16. Like this is I'm coming to the end of row 16, so I apologize. I apologize. I will have fixed that. You know, I'll put the little asterisk be like 16, not 13, and it's in the description if you're following the pattern. So. This is the end of row 16, right? I'm gonna go into this last opening as norm, right? And then I'm gonna flip it over. So that was our last decrease, like, right? I'm gonna flip it over and this is gonna be row 17. Row 17. So I'm gonna keep going. All the way to the end and then this row row 17 and onwards we're not gonna do any decreases we're just gonna do like normal make it really straight a straight upwards kind of crochet pattern um, like this one so we're gonna start to just go up so finish up row 17 and I'll meet you at the end so I can show you how to like make it straight. No increase, no decrease, just norm. Okie doke, so finishing row 17. So for this row, no increase, no decrease. So we're gonna go back into this like last stitch, push our needle through. <laughs> Bring it back. One single crochet, right? Gonna flip our work over. And now we're gonna start on to row 18. And we're gonna keep doing this, like no increase, no decrease, for a couple of rows. So this is the end of row 18. So again, just to show you, um, we're gonna go into this last stitch on the little corner. Go in like that. Do our single crochet, just one. And then flip our work over for row 19. Oof. Okay, so keep doing this. 
and I'll meet you at the end. I'm coming to an end for row 21, and this is it, right? We're ending the body of the bag. So we're gonna go into this last stitch as normal, this annoying one. Wow. It's so hard sometimes. <laughs> okay. Last one, right? I'm gonna, you know, extend that a little bit. Grab our scissors. Chop that off. And to end the bag, I just pull this end through. Pull this little tight. I make a little knot. Right, and sorry for this like end piece. What we're gonna do is we're gonna weave it through. So I'm gonna weave it through the top of this bag like this. Boop. And I keep doing that because you don't want that little, ah, that little piece to get like, you know, pop out the bag one day and all that. So this just helps prevent that. Ah, gosh. And then like, once you kind of get tired, oh my gosh, I hit the window. Once you kind of get tired of that, you just, Cut it a little shorter if you cut it too like annoyingly long and um pull that through like that so then you don't see it and then for the bottom string also do the same thing push it through grab but for this one hmm, you can either like weave it along the side or the bottom. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave, weave it across the bottom. And, ooh. and just do it like that. And then once you do this piece, you need to create one more piece exactly, <laughs> exactly like this one, okay? So that you can have two pieces for the body of the bag. And then after, we're gonna start the bottom, like the base, the base with the sides, and then the straps. So yeah. These are some really old scissors. <laughs> So, so at the end of it, once you do it all, have two identical pieces, right? So, you know, our bag will be like, boop. And now we're gonna start the bottom piece. We're first gonna start off again with the slip knot. And how I like to start mine off is I just insert my hook, I do a full 360. Then I grab the anchor yarn. Oh wow, I messed up, okay. Grab it, 360, and then I grab the anchor yarn, the one that's connected to the yarn ball, and I pull it, ooh, pull it through. Pull it tight, there we go. And you tighten this up. And for the base, if you want this to be wider or thinner, this is like, it depends on how many stitches you do here. So right now, for me, I'm gonna do seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is basically gonna go this way, 
like in between the bag right so if you want yours to be bigger or more you know more space make this foundation chain longer if you want it to be thinner you know cut it down by a few so for the space we're just gonna keep doing the same thing we did throughout this whole bag which is single crochets so for this we're going to pull in a little closer so for this we're going to do single crochets like we usually do so we're pushing through wow that looks wrong I'm gonna go like this push through grab our yarn pull it through all right and then we're gonna grab this yarn and pull it through Oof, the first two might be a little tight pull it through the first two then we're going to continue this pushing through the second opening grabbing the yarn yarning over and pulling it all the way through all right third opening right there can you see sorry about this light right there And we're gonna just do like the same process we did for the whole bag. Like once we reach the end of it, we're simply gonna just flip our work over and continue doing this. All right? So right now I'm reaching my last opening. And this is what it will look like. Simply just flip over the work. Pushing through this opening right there. Right there. Grabbing the yarn on the other side, pulling it through, and yarning over. So we're gonna continue doing this for okay so it's gonna take a little bit but it's gonna be good it's not anything complicated at all just keep doing this for nine and a half inches and then I'll show you how to make the sides and then the straps and just for a little clarification like at this end again we're gonna, gonna go into this last opening oh it looks so tight we're gonna go in and do our last stitch. So yeah, no increases or decreases. Keep it simple so it ends up being straight. Like so. All right guys, I just wanted to show this to clarify um, when we're doing those side bits in a single crochet because they can be kind of tricky. So you see how it's like curved over, right? And usually when you try to push through, it's like, it's like, what are you doing, right? I got a little frustrated. So what I do is I pull it onto the side, I hook it, I pull it a little loose, these two Vs, or the, the lines I'm supposed to go through, that V spot. And then once they're a bit looser, then I push my hook through so that I get through both of them like, like that. Then I grab the yarn. Oh, and I make sure to push it all the way through so it's like stretched out. Then I grab the yarn, pull it on the other side and finish off the single crochet. This just makes it like a little easier because they can be 
a little rough, you know? They're really tight and curved on the end. Yeah. All right. Now that you've finished the bottom part of your bag, it should be measuring up with the bottom of your bag. So next, what we're going to be doing is the sides of the bag, right? So we're going to have to make two separate parts for this. Or <laughs> it can just be a cons Okay, no, no, no. It's going to be one very long one. I need to calculate this. Um, right here should be about two inches. Here going inwards is th about three, and here is also two. So in total, we're gonna make a 32 inch long piece, just like this, but it's gonna be thinner. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our yarn again, gonna do our starting knot, slip knot, insert, pull 360, grabbing this piece of yarn, the anchor yarn, and pulling it through. So this one, I we're not we don't want it as thick as the base, we want it a little thinner. So for this we're gonna just do one, two, three, Four. I think four is fine. <laughs> um, if you want it to be thicker, make it longer and it'll be thicker. If you want it to be thinner, I don't know, maybe you don't even make a side. You could just attach it and then add a strap at the end. So I'm going to do four. And we're going to just continue doing the same single crochets. Ooh. But this time it's going to be for... What was it? 32 inches? What was it? For 32 inches. So yeah, it's going to be pretty long. But once you're done with this, you're pretty, pretty much done with like the whole bag. We just got to attach all the pieces together. Keep doing your single crochets for, you can even see, wow, apologies, apologies, for 34 inches. Just a little size comparison compared to the bottom one. You want this one to be nice and thin. The bottom one is bigger. As so. Hey guys, this is just a little update to show you what your strap. Oh, I'm sorry. What it should be looking like right now. I'm, oh my gosh, dogs. Right now I'm at like a little over 18, but just keep going takes a while my hand is cramping so just take breaks and then once you're done I'll show you how to connect all the pieces the bag how to assemble very exciting okay keep going all right hi everyone I'm back I ended up finishing the side piece and the strap but I didn't end up taking it as long as I like told you guys <laughs> sorry I like was doing it and I was measuring and I felt like this was enough. So right now it's at 18 plus 19, 20, 20, 20, 20. Like this is about 26 inches right now, okay? So if you like this length, 26 inches, but if you want it longer or shorter, you know, take it down a bit or, you know, let it go a bit longer. So right now, I'm gonna show you how to attach all these pieces, right? Have this bottom piece. Bottom piece. And this. So. 
first let's finish off these um end pieces and to do this all I like to do I only like sometimes put a knot if you really want and then I'll simply just like weave the tail piece through you can do this for both ends And you can do the same thing on the other side, the starting side. So, first things first, I would attach the bottom piece, right? So what you want to do is you want to have something like bobby pins or stitch markers, something to hold it in place. So you want to measure out each end bit, right? So here is like the starting corner. So you're gonna secure that in place. And then here's the other ending corner. So secure that also. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then I would also put an additional one like right in the middle. The more the better, you know, you do you. And what we're gonna do, actually you can move this one off to the side a little bit. Because we're gonna start on this end. So what we're gonna do to attach the pieces, we take our yarn that's connected to the yarn ball, and we're just gonna like attach it to an end. So I'm attaching it to the bottom piece. I'm just gonna push my needle through this corner area. Put the yarn in. and pull it like that. And then I'm just gonna simply just tie a double knot. Like that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called a slip stitch through this whole area. Like, to connect all of it, it's a slip stitch. So, how you do this is you push your needle through that that same spot where you tied um, your yarn to, you attach yourself, right? Grab your yarn, pull it through. Whoa, whoa, it can be a little tight, pull it through. And then you're gonna take the other end. So this is the bottom piece, this is the bag, the body of the bag. What we're gonna do is we're gonna push our needle through now, a corner for the body of the bag. Since it has these um, V's at the top, this one's kind of hard to see. I would simply just go through it right there. So you push through, right? And then you grab your anchor yarn, the one connected to the yarn ball. We're gonna hook and pull this piece of yarn through all of here, right? Like, oof. Like that. We can bring it in a little closer. So we're going to attach our piece right here. You're going to push through an area here and an area on the body of the bag, right? I'm going to grab your yarn and pull it through like that. Do it again. It's like nothing too precise. Just find an opening where your crochet hook is welcome and try to keep it even to these stitch markers so you don't want your work to be moving around tugging too tight on one end or the other because you want it to stay even. So push it through, grab the yarn, and pull it back.
can be a little tricky sometimes. Oof. But yeah. To make this um, slip stitch process a little bit easier, I would say to push through your opening. Right? Push through both of them. Yarn over and then like pinch this piece, right? Pull it down a bit and then pull your yarn through. Yeah, I just figured that out, so I thought I'd share. So push it through, and also push it through, yarn over, pull it down, and through. So yeah, I hope, I hope that makes it a little easier. <laughs> And so like, once you finish, you should be able to turn it your work over like that. It'll look like that. All right, so now that you've finished doing the slip stitches all the way through, what I would do is I would um, chain, I would chain one like this, pull this little bit through, grab your scissors, snip this off, and pull it through. Tighten it off. Add a little knot. So then, you have a piece that looks like this, right? So your bag will be like that. So now we have to add the other end, right? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna pinch it. You're gonna take your bobby pins or your stitch markers you're gonna pin it at each corner to keep it in place so your, your stuff doesn't move. The, first the two ends and then right in the middle. And then we're gonna do the same thing as we did on the other side. Just gonna move this one off a little bit. Gonna grab your yarn. You're going to connect yourself. <laughs> I'll connect myself this way. It doesn't really matter which end you're gonna connect yourself to because you won't be able to see it. So it's like this two knots. And then we're going to do our slip knots. Push it through, get connected. Actually, I should flip this over. Like that. Push it through, get connected. Right? And then push this bit through yeah. this bit. Gonna pull it straight through. Then we're just gonna continue this all the way until we reach the end. Sometimes it can get a little confusing and you kind of get a little messed up, but I would just like undo it and try doing it again. Right? Okay, so now that you've finished this other side of slip knots, again, we're just gonna do a single loop like that, pull it through. Grab our scissors, cut this off, pull it through, tighten it, and make a little knot. So, now, keep this bag 
like this, you know, with the raw edges that you just did facing outwards. Now we're going to grab the strap, right? And we're going to attach it to this end. First, choose, choose an end you want to start on, right? To this end. You're going to take one bobby pin, this corner, to this corner. Take another bobby pin and do the same thing. Right? Then put it off to the side. Next, I would add a bobby pin right where like the curvature starts a bit. So like around there. And then you continue. Right, keep it nice and lined up. I would add one like right in the middle here. Add as many as you really as you think you need, right? I would say that more is better, so make sure that everything like stays in place. And then like one at this end corner. Right? And then you can flip it over. You can do the same thing on this side. Grabbing some bobby pins. This is why bobby pins are good, better than stitch markers, because you usually have like a whole pack or a lot of bobby pins. <laughs> so, yeah. Gonna attach it here also. Right there. And then one more up here. So then your bag will start to look like that. Oops, right? And like this end corner, you know, like, <clears throat> excuse me, how we made the base kind of wider than the straps, like, it's gonna be fine. Just um, try to position it as like snugly as possible. And if your, you know, stitches get a little out of line, like you should be, you should be fine as long as they align up nice, right? Part. I'm probably just going to connect up here now because it'll be easier. So again, just going to push through one of the bits. Attach the yarn. Oops. Attach the yarn and pull it through. Like that. And simply do a double knot. put your hooks through that same opening attach yourself to the anchor yarn pull through and now we are going to begin slip slip stitching slip knot slip, slip stitching yes <laughs> so here we're going to push through this end where it aligns where it's even gonna yarn over Gonna pull through this one. Could you see that? And through that one. Okay. So again, pushing through. And there's like no specific openings that you have to go through because like they're all kind of different. Just try to keep it even. Right? Oops. And as you go along, just remove your stitch marker and keep it going. So I'll continue and then I'll meet you at this corner to show you how I do it. Alright guys, so right now I'm, I've done all this and I'm getting towards this um, corner piece. So here it can be a little harder since like so much is going on, right? It's a corner. But do not be overwhelmed. 
what you're going to do is you're just going to continue pushing through both layers, right? Like right now I'm at this corner. I'm just going to push through. Pull it along. Right? And then I'm going to right at this corner how these two meet, like the side piece, the side piece and the base of the bag. I'm going to make sure that those connect. Right? Grab the yarn, pull it, oof, pull it through. <laughs> we do that again. The two end pieces meet. Grab the yarn and pull it through. As so. Oops. There we go. And now can you remove this stitch marker that the side piece make sure you can tell the side piece right and the bottom base now are connecting so now I'm attaching myself to the bottom and then I'm gonna grab onto like the nearest corner of the side Part of the bag and like do your best to pull it through right and then do your slip knot we're just gonna continue try to keep um like try to make these at the base since it's wider a little more separated in the side right like for the side you can go into the same opening while you're going into a new hole for the bottom just so that there's more space like that like right now I'm just gonna skip one at the bottom an opening that I would have gone in go into the next one at the side just like do what you think will look best like and even if you don't make it completely perfect like you're gonna end up turning this bag inside out so you won't really see any of the flaws or or you know like don't don't stress over that too much all right so now we're reaching this corner again Right, here's what the bag is. We just finished this side, the bottom, and now we're going on to this raw side. So to do this corner, we're pretty much gonna do the same thing. First connect the bottom and the side bits and do your slip knot through there. And then you turn your work like more onto this side. So now you're gonna grab the body of the bag and the side bit. So attach yourself to the body right there and then to the first side opening and pull through. And then we're just going to continue doing our normal slip knots all the way until we reach this top part again. Now I'm pretty much coming to an end on this side. I'm just going to finish it up. Alright, this is my last or second to last stitch. Right? Yeah, I'll do one more. But once you've come to an end again you're simply just gonna loop it once pull it through like a single one like that cut off this end bit pull it through pull it tight and make a knot 
And now for this bit and this like any extra strands that you have like hanging around, you're basically just gonna do the same thing as like the other times you're gonna weave it through a certain area. So like this one, oof, it's gonna weave it through right there. be a little tight okay it doesn't matter where you leave it through as long as it's not showing on the other side of the bag because this is still like flipped inside out all right and if you end up adding a lining in your bag like this this part isn't as necessary because the lining We'll cover it, but snip that off. I don't know what that is. And then this piece, oh, there's two pieces. This piece you can weave down this way, or you can even like weave it across the top. Or di I probably not diagonally, you'll probably still end up seeing it, right? So along an end. And now we're gonna add, take this strap, make sure it's straight, and we're gonna line it up with this side, right? So, once again, grab those good old bobby pins, and we're gonna begin attaching. First, at the base, so this corner to this one, the other corner to the other one, then along the sides, at each, you know, point, right here towards the middle, and at this end, and then Flip your work over and do the same thing on this side. And then we're just gonna do the same thing that we did on the other side. Slip knot it through. Okay, now that we finished this side of slip stitches, we're just gonna crochet one, pull it like that, cut this extra bit off, Pull this through and tie a little knot. Then you can cut this shorter or, you know, whatever, and weave it through, right? Weave all your bits through your work once it is flipped inside out or right sides out. It'll be this cute bag. So cute, so cute, so cute. Oh, I got that love. I'm showing it to you and you. I'm flowing through my heart. I'm opening my chocolate again and again. I'm connecting lower to higher. I'm ascending through the slam. I'm showing love to everyone. I got so much to give. Yeah.